Standalone rendering can help render image sequences without having to open and load the Maya user interface. This makes standalone rendering perfect for rendering in the background or in different machines within a render farm. To render in standalone mode, you need to set up and run a Python script. An example of such script can be found in the MNPRX installation, flare standalone.py. Let's open it with a Python or text editor to see what's inside. The first thing is the overview with instructions on how to run this file. Currently, there is a prerequisite that is required for standalone rendering to work. We need to force Maya into using the DirectX API for hardware rendering. This is done by going into the Maya folder in your documents, the version of Maya that you're using, and editing the maya.env file with a text editor. In here, you need to enter this variable and save the file. Once this is done, we need to set up the script file. Here you can have the path to the scene that will be opened in standalone mode. And here you can configure the options within the renderer, like the name, where to render, the range of frames, what targets, etc. These settings correspond to what you see in the target sequence renderer. Finally, by default, the script will render image sequences, but one can also generate playblasts by swapping these two lines. Once everything is set and saved, we can run the MayaPy command. To do this, we open a command line, we navigate to the binaries folder of the Maya version that we want to use in standalone mode, and we run MayaPy with a path to the script file that we just edited. You will see from the output how Maya is booting up, loading MNPRX and rendering each target without opening the Maya window. Once everything is done, you will find the images within the output folder that was set up in the script. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to be notified about future videos we do here at Artinery. If you love what we do, please consider buying our software or becoming our Patreon for only 5 euros a month. It means a lot to count with your support and it allows us to continue doing this for you. That's it. See you next time.